This video will show you how to create custom screen configurations in Coastal Explorer. Coastal Explorer allows you to split the main display into as many as four quadrants to show different sets of information, including additional chart views, radar, and video. To begin, click on the Screens button on the left-hand side of the program window. Within the Screens browser, you will see nine profile boxes. Each of these boxes can contain a different screen configuration. Each of these profiles is associated with the numbers 1 through 9 on your keyboard. When you are on the main display, you can press the number key of the profile you want to appear. To create a new screen configuration, select one of the profile boxes. This will open the screen configuration utility. From here, you can begin adding panels to the configurator by clicking the plus panel button at the top of the screen and selecting the panel type. When you select a panel type, it will appear on the configuration grid. For multiple displays of the same type, click the plus panel button and select the panel type again. Once the panels have been set in the configurator, you can rearrange them by clicking and dragging the panels on the display. To remove panels, click on the red close button in the upper right hand corner of the panels. Once you have added and arranged the panels, click the done button to save the profile. To modify a profile configuration, click edit in the upper right hand corner of a profile thumbnail. To apply a configuration, simply click on the screen profile thumbnail. When you've selected a screen's profile with multiple panels, you can adjust the sizes of the screen panels by clicking and dragging the border that intersects the screens to change the dimensions. If you have set particular chart styles, zoom scales, instrument panels, or orientations on the main display that you would like to have Coastal Explorer fall back to, you can set this information on the main display. Then, go into the Screens browser and click the Save Reset Screen button. Then, when on the main display, you can reset the screen by pressing the spacebar on your keyboard three times. If you are working on a device without a keyboard, you can also add a Reset Display button to your instrument panel. If you are using Coastal Explorer with a compatible radar, you can also click the Show Radar Window button in the Screens browser to open a radar screen in a new window that can be moved to a secondary display. You will also find an Instruments button at the top of the Screens browser. This will open the Instrument Panel Configuration Utility. For more information on instrument panels, you can refer to our Configuring Instruments Panel video for Coastal Explorer. When creating custom screen profiles, Coastal Explorer gives you the ability to set certain features or commands to be applied when the profile is selected. These options include setting default instrument panels to display, controlling vessel tracking behaviors, or setting a boundary circle to use as an anchor alarm. As an example, we will create a custom screen's anchor alarm profile. To begin, enter the screen's browser and select a blank profile. If all profiles have already been set, you can modify an existing profile by clicking Edit in the upper right hand corner of the profile thumbnail. Click the plus panel button and set a chart panel. Then click options to the right of the plus panel button. In the window that appears, we can give the profile a title. Then we can set the instrument panel we want to display when the profile is selected. For this example, we will set an instrument panel we created that shows position, depth, and sensor status information. 
You can then select what tracking behavior you want to be applied when the profile is selected. For this anchor alarm profile, we'll select the Start a new track option so we can monitor vessel drift. To have the anchor alarm boundary circle placed on the chart when the profile is selected, we will check the Add a Boundary Circle Alarm at Boat's Position checkbox. We can also set the radius of the circle in this section. Once everything is set, click OK to apply the options to the profile. Then select Done in the upper right hand corner of the screen's configurator. We can then select this profile to set our anchor alarm around the vessel. This concludes our walkthrough on how to configure screens in Coastal Explorer. If you have any questions that this video did not cover, feel free to send us an email or give our office a call. Thanks for watching.